So around the same time last year, the internet was hit with a very devastating news. After not hearing from Lil Tay for five years, her first Instagram post was the news of her passing. We are saddened that our beloved Claire has suddenly passed away. We have no words to express the unbearable loss and the pain we're going through. This outcome was entirely un unexpected and has left us in shock. Her brother's passing adds on even more unimaginable depth to our grief. The post goes on and says we ask for our privacy as we grieve and I'm 100% sure they wanted that privacy. They did not want any clout, any views at all. They wanted full privacy. That's why they made this post and just a week later Lil Tay did actually die and was reborn again from the ashes up and she became a pop star singer and not a lot of people talk about this the fact that using the brother's death I don't know if he actually died or not but using if he died they're using the death and saying that it is our grief and you know Lil Tay and her team came out and said that she, she is suing her father because the father was behind all of this after he hacked her account, manipulated her for years, used her for all the money, and it was all him. I had no idea I was dropping my music video either way. The fake death just happened to be in the same week I was gonna make a comeback and just post my YouTube video. My abusive father, Chris Hope, swatted me to prevent me from continuing to expose his racism, abusive behavior, and violence. You can fucking stop me. You cannot f silence me. Now, if you're not familiar with Lil Tay, let me just show you two videos and you'll be very much familiar with. What the fuck's up, bitch? It's Lil Tay. You know what the f I'm about. I ain't gotta say it. Number one, I came back after five years. Y'all bitches still broke. It's been five years and y'all still broke. The go is back. Five years and I'm still the youngest one out. Five years and y'all bitches are still broke. I know Lil Tay, I know, I know I'm broke. I've been trying to unbroke myself for the past year. I'm, tr I'm trying, I'm trying. I get it. You don't need to remind the fact that I'm broke. Well, hey, at least, um, at least I'm blessed with having Optimus Prime in my life. What, 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 what did you think I was going to say? What, what the, disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself for even thinking I was going to say that. Long story short, she's the mother of all rage baiters. And just a few days ago, her Twitter page uh, according according to them, it is the team posting saying, We have devastating news regarding Tay. Following up with it saying, Please pray for Tay. We'll be updating you as soon as we have more information. What was the information? The information was, Tay is currently in ICU in serious condition. And at the same day, they posted that Tay has been diagnosed with a life-threatening heart tumor. We ask kindly for everyone's love and prayer. And that other view made it look like it's part of something that has a bubble moving around on it. But the thing that worries us is that... And after her first tweet on her page, Twitter's community note came with a shatak. They said that Lil Tay's rent is due again. Don't fall for this. Linking it to the incident that happened last year with her faking her death. Now, the internet has been divided ever since. This is a situation either Twitter will get canceled or Lil Tay would get canceled for faking her heart tumor if it is true or not after faking her death last year it is very hard for people to believe if this is true or not and a lot of people have been divided ever since people like the community note saying that her rent is due do not fall for this comments like here we go again pinocchio was her student if she has heart tumor then i'm beyonce i'm posting a picture of icu claiming that she is in the icu in an emergency condition and then posting an mri or a scan of her having a tumor i'm not really a doctor i don't know how this whole thing works it, first time when i saw it i thought she was pregnant and you can't really blame people for saying these things after what she pulled last year it is very hard to believe what is true and what is not true when it comes to Lil Tay and the reason the internet is 50 50 about it especially all these big influencers wishing her a speedy recovery is because of the fact that they do not want to get cancelled just in case she, she you know, God forbid, dies, they won't be under heavy fire. And this person also posted a note that was sold with Lil Tay's merch just in January of 2024, saying that, can we please stop accusing Lil Tay of lying? You literally gain nothing from accusing her of lying. And there's evidence supporting the fact that she's in ICU. 
there's not really uh, evidence i can literally go and you know take a video from google and just showcase it on my icu but okay this is the message what he says in the note the news hasn't broken yet but i've also been diagnosed with a heart tumor claiming that she got this note nine months ago now i don't know if twitter was afraid of getting canceled but they actually removed their community note this is again what confuses people even more twitter's community note removed the joke that they posted on the just under this post i'm following up with it lil tay's page posted this saying this community note is misleading as something is indeed wrong with tay last time it was her teen father who hacked into her account and faked her death however this time she's in the icu she was diagnosed with a heart tumor but we will keep you updated as we receive more information. Please continue to pray for Tay. Now, hacking into an Instagram account is not really that easy. Maybe the dad already had access to the account and he just made. I don't really know what he gained out of this whole thing. Promoting her more just to sell, sell merch. Overall, true or not, it's a really fucked up thing. But if this whole thing turned out to be a stunt, it is even a more fucked up thing. There is no recovery from this if this whole thing is a stunt and just 24 hours ago the page also posted saying tay is about to undergo major open heart surgery to remove her heart tumor this is a critical procedure we asked for your prayers for a successful operation then posted a broken heart just randomly there and just 10 hours ago apparently she went through the surgery and said we are overjoyed to share that tay's open heart surgery was a great success we are deeply thankful for her surgeon cardiologist and the team who are the best in the world thank you for the love praise and positive energy and you know the list goes on thank you thank you thank you but just a few hours ago a new information has come to the internet and they're saying that this whole thing is indeed a stunt and posting a picture of lil tay's new album coming up pre-order it because it is expected to drop in literally five days now again this whole thing can be a very big coincidence that you know nine days after they announced that she has a heart tumor and went under surgery and got all the views that you know they announced that oh yeah by the way just want to let you know i went through surgery and i come out of it as a strong woman and yeah go buy my new song now since all the you know the eyes are on me now this whole thing is a very sensitive topic you can't really tell if this is actually real or not maybe it's real but she lied way too many times that it is very hard to believe maybe it is real maybe it's not but the fact that they're coming and saying oh yeah this is true how dare you say this is false i guarantee you trust me bro this is true with just posing a picture of icu and her in a hospital bed this whole thing can literally be made this whole thing can be a studio and just put a hospital bed put some machines and boom new to uh, top three singles because she already has all the eyes on her but maybe this whole thing can be real too but we need more proof than this. I can literally come forward and say, me and Ana de Armas used to do shakalaka boom boom before she was famous. Trust me, bro. You don't believe me? Trust me, bro. Isla also used to be my ex before all her fame. Actually, that is not a rumor. That is absolutely true. I even have proof for this. First and foremost, I would like to apologize to Kai Sinet. Kai, me and Tyla did very unfriendly type of things to each other but on a serious note if Lil Tay is actually faking this whole thing it is very fucked up if she's not wish her a speedy recovery I guess even though she called me broke and I really took that to heart but I hope she gets better thankfully the surgery went well but if she is lying to everyone she is going to get exposed in the future even though she claims that no it was not you know it was real but it just happened i was dropping my song it was pre-recorded from before i just happened to drop drop it at the same time that i had all the eyes on if this whole thing turns out to be true and she gets exposed i don't really see a way you know back from this whole thing it's really fucked up when you pretend to have something that a lot of people are going through some hard times but i waited for a couple days until this whole story is developed and i just thought i'll share it with you i guess the the more in the future the stories are going to get developed and we're going to see if this whole thing is real or not or maybe we'll never find out god, god knows when it comes to Lil tay but anyways just wanted to talk about this and update you let me know your thoughts in the comments below like subscribe take it easy i'll catch you in the next